At this point, you are now ready to do some cutting. You've basically made an origami box. However, because the card is, is a little bit much heavier than normal origami paper, it is a helpful to cut off some of the card because it makes it easier to um, fold the box and put it together and not be bulky. So until you get a feel for what um, uh, you need to cut off, I would recommend that you mark it in pen, pencil so that when you go to cut, you make sure that you're not cutting something you don't want to cut off. So what the first thing you need to do is open it up and you'll be able to see all your, your lines and creases that you've made. And what you'll need to do is with the points up and down, you're going to want to draw a line coming down on either side, skipping this part and coming down here. Okay. Then once you've got your lines here, then you're going to want to take, you'll see a little square right there, you're going to want to take your pen, pen and draw a line, and you're making basically a triangle here. So you're going to go here and here. And we'll do that again on this one. Points up, and you're going to come straight down on the crease here. Skip this section, come straight down. And then you're going to draw, take this square here and cut it in half with a line. I'm not making a very straight line there, but that doesn't matter. You just get the general idea. So that you know that these are the parts you're going to cut out. And you should see somewhat of a um, X or a cross. So now you can cut out, you're not going to make a mistake and cut it wrong. Now you are ready to put the box together and fold it. So these are going to be the size that you're going to pull into the center. Then you're going to pull it up and bring these into the middle. So there's your beginning of your box. Then you're going to bring this side over and down, this up and over and down, and then crease in here. And there is the top of your box. And now here's our bottom. Fold to the center. Then lift up. Bring in the corners. And lift up and over. Up and over. And then crease. And they should stick pretty well. You don't even need to use any um, glue or tape. And then, all you have to do is stick them together. Now, I didn't do a very good job of making, because of this tight, um, thick card, I should have made it a little bit smaller than the four and seven eighths that I did. So it's a little bit harder to, there we go. It was a little bit of a tight fit. But it is together. And there is our box. And here's another box that I did earlier. And as you can see, it's exactly the same thing. This one, this card was not as heavy. I made a little bit better judgment call on the size, and so it fits in a lot better in here. But 